come on page 65 of the USAD Music Resource Guide. And track 7 is Scheherazade, and that is the first movement by Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov. So the Oriental style was something that was pretty much created by the Mighty Handful. So a lot of people associate it with Russian music, which is actually kind of funny, because they adopted it from different cultures like Georgian, Armenian, Turkish, things like that. So Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov actually wrote a different Oriental symphonic suite, which was Antar, and that was in 1868. Scheherzade has a bit of an Oriental vibe to it, too. Rimsky-Korsakov's symphonic suite Scheherzade in 1888 consists of four movements that follow a program drawn from the Persian tales of Thousand and One Nights. At first, Rimsky-Korsakov attached programmic titles to each movement, but he later removed them out of concern that they were becoming an obstacle at the full appreciation of his music. We know, however, that the first movement enters with the musical portraits of the king, a powerful unison theme in the lower register, and Scherzade himself, who, according to the framing narrative, has to keep the king amused with a new story every night, otherwise she will be executed. The portrayal of Scherzade is a celebrated example of Orientalist music. She is represented by a solo violin, which weaves a delicate, abstract line in triplets, very free in tempo. This is evidently Scherzade's preparing herself for the story to come, which begins with new music representing the sea, since the story here is of Sinbad and his ship. As a former naval officer, Rimsky-Korsakov had a great love for the sea and represented it in music more than once. The music rises and falls like the waves, and this unending movement is conveyed through slow harmony over long pedal notes. Whereas Germanic music used harmonic phrases that were directly strung toward cadences, Russian music often cultivates a kind of aimlessness, especially in representations of the Orient. And that's about it.